Hello guys, welcome to .NET Word by DT. In this video, we are going to see state management. It is the most important topic of ASP.NET and we will see this concept with the help of question and answer. So let's start. So our first question is what is state management? So the answer is ASP.NET application is stateless means it does not store any data of that particular page so state management in asp.net application store state of an object and control so the question is how state management work state management store the state of an application in the form of data structure either at client side or server side means whatever data is collected that is stored on the client side or server side this is our first question answer now let's move to our next question and next question is what are different types of state management techniques okay so there are two types of state management first one is client side state management second one is server side state management so in client side state management all information is stored on client side and in server side state management all information is stored in server memory okay now let's move to our next question our next question is different types of client side state management and server side state management so in client side state management there are five types first one is view state second is hidden field third one is query string fourth one is cookie and fifth one is control state so in view state it is used to store value of a controls between page round trips and its value retained only for that particular page okay so suppose there is some value in the text box so to retain the value while post back the view state is used okay that is your view state then hidden field it is used to store hidden value like it most of the time used for id field because we don't want to show id field to user okay get the concept of hidden field now query string it is used to store value into the http query string we can see those value in url okay so query string are an easy way for pass information from one page to another such as passing a product number from another page where it will be processed okay that is your query string now the cookies is it is used to store user information on client side and control state it is important to store state of a control and it can be turn off like view state okay like uh, you can enable or disable view state but cannot control state okay these are our client side state management types now server side state management type there are two types session state and application state management so set session state it is used to track session of the user and session is nothing but it maintain the user information on server side for example when every client make request to the application that time server will be allocated block of memory this memory is called session memory okay that is your session state now the application state it goes for all user and session okay this is our different types of client side state management and server side state management and next question is where the view state is stored so when the page is rendered the state of a page and value that must be retained during post back are serialized into base64 encoding string then put it into the view state hidden field means your answer is 
view state is stored into the hidden field and in the form of encoded string okay so let's move to our next question our next question is where the view state is present in page life cycle so where it present after the initialization and before page load okay means after your init event and before page load event your view state is present okay so let's move to our next question our next question is how to use view state in an application so to use view state our syntax is view state in square bracket variable name equals to value that value can be anything like string integer character and your text box value as well for example i have given here view state in bracket name that is your variable name that can be anything according to your required data equals to text name that text okay means here i have take information of text box value okay now how to access it if you want to access view state then just you have to mention this code in your event that is if view state variable name not equals to null then just paste that value into your text box okay that is how you will access view state on the basis of this question you may get another question like how to use session in an application and how to use application state in an application okay so session and application if you want to use then both are same like view state the syntax is same just you have to put session variable name equals to value example can be session variable name equals to value that value can be anything text box value or your string integer those kind of value okay here i have take example of text box only you can take any value now how to access session or application then if you want to access session you instead of view state you just have to mention session and if you are using application just then mention application state okay and now for this one to get the value you just have to mention session variable name dot string and application variable name dot dot to string okay get it now our next question is how to use hidden field okay so the answer is asp colon header field id is equals to hidden id run at equals to server and value equals to anything that you want to give to your hidden field if you want to you give this uh, value uh, in your dynamic state then you have to mention that in a event okay for that you just have to take id that is hidden id then dot value equals to whatever value you want to give to your hidden field okay so our next question is what are cookies so the answer is it is a small piece of information about the user is then sent back by the browser in all subsequent requests to the same url in the request message and stored into the local disk of user okay so there are two types of cookies first one is persistent cookies and second one is non persistent cookie so persistent cookie remain in client memory even after browser close and non persistent it does not remain in client memory and lost after browser close okay just remember that then our next question is what is the default time out for cookie so what is the default time out 30 minutes it is for the cookie and on the basis of that you may get another question like what is default time out for session so for session there is 30 minute time out okay so our next question is different mode 
to store session state management okay so there are two way by which we can store state management in our server side first one in process and second one out process so in process stored in memory on the web server okay and out process stored in an external data source like sql server or state server service okay so this is your answer to this question so that's for it guys thank you for watching the video don't forget to subscribe the channel like and share the video thank you